Hey, this is Chris here, and I'm going to do another review now. Uh, just a quick one on the two uh, very good, uh, you know, self-powered, self-reliant uh, flashlights here. I have the uh, the Night Star. This is the CF2, uh, clear green. This thing is pretty much indestructible. It's completely sealed all the way around. Uh, it's pretty bright. Uh, it's not super bright, but it'll get you home. Uh, probably one of the dimmest flashlights that I've ever seen, if not the dimmest one I've ever seen. But, uh, you know what? The bottom line with this one is, uh, no matter what, it doesn't use a battery at all. Just a capacitor. Shake it, you know, to charge, and, uh, it works really fantastic. I mean, this flashlight, even the switch, it glows. I'm not going to show you right now. Um... But uh, this one, completely waterproof, uh, I think you can go like 100 feet underwater with it or whatever, but definitely you can, you know, water sports, whatever it is, you keep this thing with you. Uh, it's going to work no matter what, uh, and that's good to know. So, yeah, it might not be the brightest flashlight, but any flashlight's better than no flashlight, and this one will definitely, definitely work. It has a little lanyard hole if you want to use that, and uh, it'll work. Uh, one thing I can say, uh, the magnet inside is really, really strong, and they warn you all in the instructions about the magnetic uh, field that it causes, and you really can't keep it near anything um, that can get messed up. Now, I originally intended on having this as kind of like my emergency, you know, throw it in the backpack with all my other, uh, you know, bug out type of stuff, and uh, you know what? I know that this flashlight will work no matter what, but on the list of things that I need, a flashlight is uh, is of course important, but you know what, light is light, uh, you really shouldn't be running around in the middle of it anywhere if you're doing any hiking or, or traveling through uh, through the bush or anything like that, uh, better to, to camp for the night and move in the day. and. Uh, yeah, it's nice to have. It gives you a sense of comfort, but uh, there are better flashlights for that. So, uh, pretty much, uh, I'll start off by just saying that uh, the magnetic stuff, it just really, uh, it interferes with, uh, with a lot of things. And I think that uh, you don't realize, but uh, I had this in my backpack with my nice uh, Sunto uh, base plate compass. This is a pretty good compass. And uh, the magnet completely messed up the compass. Uh, just being in the same bag, not even in the same pouch of the bag. Uh, you leave it in there, it completely messed up the compass. Now the compass is completely wrong. You know, it's almost made a complete 180 degree spin uh, where north is pointing south now and it's all messed up. So, uh, great to have around the house for an emergency. You keep it away from, you know, electronics and stuff like that. It will work no matter what if you want to throw it in the car somewhere. Uh, and have it just in case, it's fine. Just keep it away from your compass and things like that because, uh, you know, it'll be all right around electronics. They tell you not to put it near it as long as you're not really uh, sticking it inches. But as far as, like, keeping it in a backpack or something like that with uh, with your compass or anything like that, I uh, can't do it, you know. And my watch, uh, I have the compass on my watch, uh, which I'll be reviewing. I have a Casio Pathfinder. And uh, even that, I have to say, is that um, I can't even, you know, when I'm using this flashlight now, I need to worry that, oh, if I put it in my left hand, it's going to get too close to my watch. So, uh, so, you know, even to do this video, I'm pretty close to the flashlight. I took my watch off just to do the video. So that much uh, I'll say about this one. Great flashlight. I know it's bulletproof. It'll work if you need one to work, but just keep that stuff in mind. Uh, you know, so I'd recommend it to anybody who doesn't uh, think that it would interfere in any way with uh, anything like that. All right, and I'll make another video about the other one in a second. I'm going to do it separate because I'm recording them on my phone and it uh, limits my time. So uh, I'll be right back for uh, part two.